St. Joseph schools depend on property tax revenues to pay for education costs. We got a briefing on how the numbers are looking as we head into this week. Assistant Superintendent Robert Segrist revealed that property tax valuation went up, but it was only about eight tenths of 1% over the last two years. Given the recent trend of inflation, that's not enough to keep up with rising costs. Some peer districts reported much higher property valuation increases. The assessed valuation numbers, just to be completely blunt, were kind of disappointing as I talked to a lot of superintendents around the state. Uh, especially south of 36 highway, 3%, 4%, 7%, 10, 12%, uh, north of 36 highway, not so much. District leaders will gather for a tax hearing and Board of Education meeting to hear public input about the situation. That event is set for 5 p.m. on Monday at the Troster Media Center.